This class you have got three problems. First problem is a single phase induction motor draws 20 amps, supply voltage is 220, frequency is 50 Hz, its power factor is 0.6. The question is calculate the rating of the capacitor and capacitor value to improve the power factor from 0.6 to 0.9 and also calculate the new supply current. That is the question. IM is given 20 amps, that is the motor current. Cos pi 1 is equal to 0 0.6. Pi 1 is equal to 53.13 degrees. Turn pi 1 is equal to 1.33. Cos pi 2 is equal to 0 0.9. Pi 2 is equal to 25.84 degrees. Turn pi 2 is equal to 0 0.48. You know the formula. IC is equal to IM into cos pi 1 or I1 into cos pi 1 that is active component of current into turn pi 1 minus turn pi 2 we know all the values substitute all the values in this equation IC is equal to 10.2 amps that is the current drawn by the capacitor next we have to calculate the capacity of the capacitor QC is equal to V into IC V is the supply voltage IC is equal to 10.2 QC is 2.2 kilo volt ampere reactive next is we have to calculate the capacitance value C is equal to capacity current divided by omega into V IC is a capacity current V is a supply voltage omega 2 pi f frequency is given 50 here capacity value is 148 microfarads next we have to calculate the new supply current I1 into cos pi 1 is equal to I2 into cos pi 2. I2 is equal to I1 into cos pi 1 by cos pi 2. Here I1 is equal to IM. Therefore I2 is equal to IM into cos pi 1 by cos pi 2. So I2 value is 13.3 amps. This is the phase or diagram. Here I2 value is less than I1 value. This is supply voltage. This is 20 amps, this is 13.3 amps, this current is 10.2, this is angle pi 1, this angle is pi 2. Okay. Power P is equal to VA cos theta, real power. First, we step, first case, P1 is equal to 220 into 20 into 0.6, 2640 watts. Second case, 220 into 13.3. The new current 13.3 into 0.9 that is equal to 2633 0.4 watts almost equal. Q1 reactive power is equal to Vi sin theta 3520 volt ampere reactive. Second case Vi sin theta that is equal to 1275.74 volt ampere reactive. Now we draw the power triangle case 1. This is P1, this is S1, this is Q1, cos theta is equal to 0.6. Case 2, this is P1, this is P2, S2, Q2, that is cos theta is equal to 0.9. What we understand? By varying the reactive power, we can improve the power factor. Or, by controlling the reactive power, we can control the power factor. Second problem. An induction motor draws a current of 31.7 amps. Supply voltage is 220, frequency is 50 Hz, power factor is 0.7. The question is calculate the rating of the capacitor and capacitor value to improve the power factor from 0.7 to 0.9 and also calculate the new supply current. That is the question. So, phase and diagram is given. This is IC. This is the supply voltage. This is the current. The motor glass current is 31.7 amps. This is the new supply current. This is IC. IC is equal to IM by I. Pi 1 is equal to 45.57 degrees. Pi 2 is equal to 25.84 degrees. First we calculate the active component of the current. That is this current. Active component of motor current is equal to IM into cos pi M. 31.7 into 0.7. That is equal to 22.19 amps. I, that is new supply of this current. This I into cos pi. That is equal to I1 into cos pi 1. That is equal to I2 into cos pi 2. This is I into 0.9. This this active uh, component current. From which we can calculate the new supply current I. We don't have the new supply current I. I. 
since i1 is equal to iba i2 is equal to i i1 is equal to cos pi 1 is equal to i2 into cos pi 2 we know this is 22.19 this is the this current this current is 22.19 that is equal to i2 into cos pi 2 is 0.9 therefore i2 this current new current is equal to new supply current is equal to 22.19 divided by 0.9 the new supply current value is 24.66 amps similarly we calculate the reactive component current here I am into sin pi 1 31.7 into 0 0.714 so this current reactive component current is 22.6 amps this reactive component current is 10.75 uh, amps IC is equal to IM minus I this current minus this current minus this current that is equal to 11.85 amps okay now I can easily calculate the capacity of the capacitor QC is equal to V into IC V is 220, IC is 11.85, therefore capacity of the capacity is 2607 volt ampere reactive. Now I can easily calculate the uh, capacitance value. We, I know the new supply current, uh, IC is sorry, this current, the IC, IC is, 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 is equal to IC by omega into V. IC is equal to 11.85 divided by 2 pi into frequency 50 into 220 that is equal to 171 microfarads okay so capacity of the capacity is 2607 volt ampere reactive capacitance value is 171 microfarad the new supply current value is 24.66 capacitor current is 11.85 amps okay this way you have to work out this problem when the phase diagram is given the third problem an alternator supplying 500 watts at a power factor of 0.6 lagging. Okay. If the power factor rise to unity, how many kilowatts can alternator supply from the KVA loading? That is the question. So KVA is equal to kilowatts divided by power factor. Here the kilowatts is 500 by 0.6. That is equal to 833.33 kilovolt amperes. That is the rating of the alternator. At 0.6 power factor, it gives 500 kilowatts. At unity power factor, it will give 833.33. The power factor is 1. Therefore, 833.33 kilowatts. What is the increased power supplied by the alternator? That is 833.33 minus 500. That is equal to 333.33 kilowatts. Thanks for listening.